Hey everyone, welcome back to Top Picks Laptops, where I share honest, hands-on reviews of laptops I've personally used so you don't end up wasting your hard-earned money. Today's video is especially for my fellow programmers, developers, and coders, whether you're just starting out with Python or deep into building full-stack applications. We're diving into the four best laptops for programming in 2025. I've spent weeks testing these machines, coding, debugging, multitasking, and yes, even dealing with the occasional coffee spill while pushing them through real-life developer workflows. So let's get into it. And just a heads up, I've added the best and latest Amazon deals for every laptop featured in this video. You'll find them in the description and the pinned comment below. If something catches your eye, just scroll down and check it out. Number 4. Asus VivoBook 16 M1605 – Best Budget Choice Okay, starting from the budget-friendly side, the Asus VivoBook 16. And let me be honest, I didn't expect much when I first unboxed this, but it actually surprised me. Real Life Feel I worked on small projects, ran VS Code, tested a few Node.js apps, and even did some basic SQL querying. The older AMD Zen 3 chip isn't lightning fast, but it never made me feel stuck or held back, unless I opened too many Chrome tabs, which I always do. Pros I loved Comfortable keyboard, really important for long typing sessions. Big 16 screen, makes multitasking easier. User upgradable RAM, so you can throw in more if you start with less. Fingerprint reader, quick logins are underrated. Cons? Screen brightness maxes out around 250 nits. Indoors it's fine, but forget coding on a sunny balcony. Only one USB-C port, and it doesn't support video output, so you need HDMI for a second monitor. Webcam is pretty average, soft and overexposed in my Zoom calls. For students, junior devs, or anyone coding light apps, scripts, or doing coursework, this is honestly a solid no-fuss choice under budget. Number 3. Acer Swift Go 14 2024 – Best Mid-Range Option now stepping into the mid-range, the Acer Swift Go 14. This is the one I ended up carrying to cafes, co-working spaces, and even short trips because it's super light and surprisingly powerful. Daily experience. I tested it on React apps, Python scripts, and even some Docker containers. Thanks to the latest Intel Meteor Lake CPU, it handled them smoothly. Battery life in real life? Around 10 to 11 hours of normal use. Good enough for a long coding day outside. What makes it shine? Choice of 2.8K OLED screen. Text looks sharp and beautiful. Code looks so clean. 32GB RAM option. Plenty for serious dev work. Big touchpad and fairly comfy keyboard, though keys feel a bit soft. Great port selection. 2X Thunderbolt 4, HDMI, USB-A. Who should get it? If you do front-end plus back-end coding, light design work, or sometimes run VMs or containers, this can handle all of that while staying under mid-range budget. Pro tip from by use. Go for the OLED version only if you mainly work indoors and love that vibrant screen. It drains battery a bit faster and can burn in over years. If you always code outside in bright light, stick to the IPS panel. Number 2. Apple MacBook Air 15 M4 2025 – Best Upper Mid-Range Now let's talk about something that feels premium without going pro – the new MacBook Air 15 with M4 chip. Real experience. I used it for a full work week, coding in VS Code, running Docker for small local servers, browsing documentation, and even editing thumbnails for my videos. What amazed me? It stayed completely silent. There's literally no fan. Battery lasted easily 11 to 12 hours, even while running local servers plus multiple tabs plus Spotify. The 15-inch Retina display is super sharp, and text is crisp, though it's not as bright or punchy as the MacBook Pro's mini LED. Best parts I loved. Super light and thin. I could throw it in a backpack and forget it's there. Excellent build, feels sturdy despite being thin. M4 chip handles nearly all programming tasks smoothly. Downsides? Only two Thunderbolt USB-C ports, annoying if you use multiple peripherals, mouse, keyboard, monitor, SSD. 
Fanless design is quiet, but may throttle a bit if you run heavy local builds for hours. Who should buy? Perfect if you love macOS, manly work on web dev, data science, or app dev, and want a big screen in a thin, quiet machine. If you're learning coding or freelancing, this can easily last you four to five years. Number one, Apple MacBook Pro 14, best overall for programming. Finally, the absolute beast, the MacBook Pro 14 with M4 Pro slash Max. I won't lie, this is the smoothest coding experience I've ever had. How I used it? I ran Docker, local databases, VS Code, Xcode, Chrome with 20 plus tabs, Figma, and Slack. It didn't stutter once. Battery life, easily 15-16 hours on web dev tasks. The display is stunning, crazy bright, 1000 nits, sharp, perfect for long hours. Highlights, super fast compile times, builds that took minutes on my old laptop finished in seconds. Best keyboard feel on a MacBook so far. Plenty of Thunderbolt ports, HDMI, SD card slot, no dongle life. Stays cool and quiet. Fans do spin under really heavy load, but not annoyingly. Who's it for? Pro devs, freelancers running multiple containers, heavy CICD builds, or anyone who values speed plus display quality. If coding is your full-time job, it's 100% worth it. So, those are the laptops I've actually coded on, tested under pressure, and sometimes even spilled coffee over. Programming is a long-haul journey. The right laptop should make your work smoother, not just look cool on a desk. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Top Picks Laptops for more hands-on, no-nonsense laptop reviews every week. Links to all the laptops with the latest prices are down below. And let me know in the comments which one feels right for your workflow. Thanks for watching, stay productive, stay curious, and I'll catch you in the next one.